So today we have Director of Imperial School of Business, Agri Business, ISAB, Mr. Saurabh K. Pandavidas. Good morning, sir. First of all, on the behalf of College Dunya, I would like to thank you for accepting the invitation for the interview, and it gives me immense pleasure to conduct the interview. So, sir, uh, shall we start with the interview? Yeah, please. Okay, sir. Uh, so, sir, what do you uh, what do you consider your roles and responsibilities towards the university and the students are? All right. So, uh, you know, uh, as a part of the management, I think the ultimate role of any institution and any university is to secure the career of the student, is to make them employable. When the students are joining any institution, they have a they have expectation that when they pass out, they should be able to secure a job in the market. But how they will secure it? Yes. You have to make them employable. You have to make them. Uh, equipped with a certain skills which are required in the market which are skills which are in demand in the market then only your student will be able to secure a job so as an institution you know we at iscb uh, we are quite committed and quite uh, you know dedicated towards uh, upgrading the skills of our students so they can get a better job opportunities in the market so that is what we feel in. Yes, sir. Sir, as the director of ISAB College, what is your leadership style? All right, it's a, a little bit tricky question. I would say I don't know because I, I, I think others are in a better position to answer this. What is my leadership style? But uh, I would say I'm a quite a, a passionate and emotional person, and. Um, I respect the values and the feeling of the student and my staff and a team and uh, you know uh, that is something a uh, bonding uh, you know mixture uh, which is which is growing our institution which is helping uh, ISAB together to grow in a certain level so you know um, uh, we do not consider as a you know this institution uh, we do not run this institution in a very, you know, only in a professional way, but there is definitely a sense of emotions respecting each other values. So that is how we drive. Thank you, sir. As the director of Imperial School of Agribusiness, how do you plan the most important programs and strategies for marketing and managing your school? For uh, spreading the awareness, see, you need to understand one thing that uh, Mostly, uh, as we have the dedicated programs for food and agribusiness, so our major, major targets would be agriculture universities, first of all, and the food institution, those who are offering programs related to food, science, food technologies and all. We organize many things. We organize various kind of events. We organize very kind of workshops. We have online web series, uh, webinar talk, uh, I would say. So, you know, that is helping our student to understand uh, um, the existing trend in the market. So we do not directly uh, talk about admission per se, but we spread the awareness. We educate our students. We educate our students about the entire food and agribusiness sector. And this, this is how I think uh, since inception, uh, we are getting a very positive response regularly, gradually. Every year we are increasing our seats and uh, every year we are securing 100% placement as well. And that is, I think, kind of a major important factor um, why students are, uh, you know, uh, seeking towards ISAB as their uh, better option for uh, the career. Yes, sir. So, so throughout your career, you have held important positions in educational institutions. What is the main reason that keep you connected to the educational sector? Okay. So, see, one thing you need to understand. Um, Education is something which we should consider as an input for the human being and rest everything is output. So when I say rest everything is output, how do you behave in the market? That is something the output of what you receive the input in the schooling education or your college education. Mm -hmm. So the entire education system starting from your primary till, you know, higher, uh, till the higher education, this is entirely the input system. So what I have realized that until your input is not good, your output cannot be improved. All right. This we have to understand. Whatever the recipe that you use to cook any dish, if the recipe, if the ingredients are not good, taste will not come out. So that is what uh, from the management side and what philosophy that we can let us focus on the input 
and hence i am pa- passionate towards this education sector in order to improve the input of our country so so what how do you create a healthy and a positive environment without, within your university and the institute okay so uh, it's not the credit goes to our student as we have uh, kept it really open for them to you know conduct various kind of extracurricular and co-curricular activities so we have more than 10 clubs you know a couple of if i say cell clubs plays a very important role apart from academics in order to create the environment really vibrant and uh, where student they hone their skills they they really open up they fight with their hesitation and nervousness so we have cultural club we have we, we have and we have a placement cell we have sports club so these all clubs and cells they conduct more than 100 plus events in a year so when 100 plus events are happening and students are participating in these events apart from the academics definitely you know they feel really happy they feel really charged yes sir thank you so much and apart from this can you describe any specific measure or a program that your institution has implemented to address the rising mental health issue and the stress among the students in india currently all right uh, i think thank you very much for asking this question on the occasion of international yoga day so today is uh, luckily 21st june and uh, on a right day you are asking this question so we have a sports and wellness club all right and under sports and wellness club um we conduct uh, you know we invite text first to our united faculty uh, who organize so these are so many aspect that we cover and you have rightly asked because until unless you are mentally stable you are stress free you will not be able to management program yes so they are designed in a way where student feel and they are also feeling stress because they are looking for their job opportunities in the second year because i think in senior programs and mostly in pg programs this is kind of the end of formal education for any student mostly students they do not go for phd further in case so this is kind of the end of formal education as this is the last education they are really worried they are really you know tense that i have invested so much money and i should be able to come out with a good job because i have to not take care of, of, of my family of myself in future and hence on their you know overall well being so this this is the most important aspect that you have asked so we definitely take care of this Yes, sir. Uh, sir, so lastly, what advice would you give to someone who is interested in pursuing a career in higher education institution, and how do you f- see that the field is evolving in the years to come? Okay, so I would answer uh, in the perspective of food and agribusiness sector only because I am involved in this sector. One thing I would definitely say that this sector would be growing uh, leaps and bounds for the next twenty-five to thirty years. So students should not be worried about their career. If they are joining this sector, food and agribusiness sector, they must not be worried about their uh, job opportunities in the market. Market is full of employment opportunities in the food and agribusiness sector because even after Corona, as we have heard, everybody is talking about health. People want to live conscious life. They want to live healthy life. you know everything can be closed shut down but food you cannot stop right so this is something and apart from food they are not talking about conscious food selection of conscious food people are talking about food. people are talking about healthy lifestyle so these things are coming into the picture and hence the entire sector is growing considering the employee opportunities in the market in india if you say we have received almost 100 billion dollar investment as well from the fpis and ag tech sectors more than 1000 plus startups are already working in the food and agribusiness sector which are successful in nature ministry of corporate affairs ministry of agriculture they are pushing so much funds in terms of grants to these new startups and building a wonderful ecosystem in our country so i would definitely suggest that people those who are those who used to choose agriculture by chance now they are choosing by choice so there is a definitely a tremendous shift uh, in the end as ecosystem and uh, people should definitely join this sector confidently 
on behalf of isab uh, you know i would definitely recommend that uh, the sector is absolutely safe and uh, as we have delivered consistent 100% placement the reason is because market is really open market is accepting our students market is open and market will be remain open for the at least next 25 to 30 years that much prediction i think all uh, pundits of food and agribusiness sector they are you know predicting so uh, the sector is really safe i think